Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. So as you all know that my husband and I have been living in Querétaro, Mexico for about two years now and uh, it was a big decision for us to make and a major criteria that played in this decision was the cost of living of this place. And now that we've been living here for uh, about two years, we have a fair idea of how much it costs for a family of two to uh, live a decent life in this city. So I thought this would be an interesting topic to talk about and that's what I'm going to be sharing with you all today. And just to give an idea, uh, the current conversion rate of Mexican peso to INR and Mexican peso to US dollar is given here down below. So just to give you an idea of uh, you know how, what, what is the conversion rate. Okay, so first let's talk about the component that takes up most of our money every month and that is the house rent. So in Querétaro, you can find a decent 2 or 3 BHK apartment or an individual house ranging from 8,000 Mexican pesos to 12,000 Mexican pesos. And of course, you can find houses cheaper than that and they can go higher than 12,000 as well, depending on how close or far you are from the center of the city and whether you're looking for a furnished or an unfurnished property. And just to give an idea, um, the house that we live in, we pay around 8,500 Mexican pesos and I made a video a couple of months ago on an empty house tour of this house. So you can check it out, I will leave the link in the description box just so you have an idea of the kind of houses available here. Okay, so now let's talk about utilities. So we get a monthly water bill of around 200 pesos and this amount would be lesser if you don't have a lawn to water every day. And next, we get uh, an electricity bill of around 100 pesos every month. And we have basic appliances like a fridge, washing machine, a microwave, air fryer, and all of those things. But um, in case you want to upgrade to an air conditioner, this, would, this amount would go higher. Although an air conditioner is not required in Querétaro, most houses don't even have ceiling fans here. But just in case you do that, this amount will go higher. Next, uh, the internet. Uh, the internet would cost you anything between 300 to 500 pesos depending on the plan you choose. And lastly, cooking gas. So cooking gas here is also used to heat the water in the water heater because we don't have electric water heaters over here. So we get, uh, we pay around 200 pesos for the cooking gas every month. And all in all, we pay around 1000 pesos for on utilities every month. Another component that takes up a major chunk of our, of our budget every month is groceries and we spend around 4,500 Mexican pesos on groceries every month. Groceries here are a little expensive, a little more expensive than in India. This is what my experience, experience has been. But the quality of fruits and vegetables is very good over here. Also, you don't find uh, general Indian groceries in normal supermarkets over here. You, there are specific Indian stores for that. And uh, those are of course available at a premium cost because those are imported goods. So if you want to know more about Indian groceries in Mexico, let me know in the comments below and I will make a separate video about that. So next is transportation. And we have not been avid users of the public transport over here, majorly because of the pandemic. So I won't be able to comment on that. We mostly use our own car or Uber. So talking about the price of petrol, uh, petrol slash gasoline costs around uh, 20 to 22 pesos per liter. And uh, this is something that is cheaper than India over here. And uh, Uber costs a minimum of 60 pesos and can go higher to 200 pesos depending on where you travel within the city. Now all of us want to go out and eat once in a while or order in at home. So, um, and Kerataro is a place with a lot of uh, good restaurants and eateries to be explored. So on an average, an outing uh, can cost you around uh, anything between 400 to 600 pesos, including alcohol. And uh, if you would like to order in, it would be generally the same amount. Alcohol is something that I find uh, cheaper over here than in India. For an example, 
Uh, a pint of beer in a convenience store over here can cost you as less as 12 pesos but of course if you order it at a restaurant it would be around 40 to 45 pesos but still cheaper than India. So I really wanted to include the price of drinking water over here because that is something we buy here and uh, you can't drink out of the tap. So there are two ways to go about it. Either you buy a water purifier um, or you get a regular supply of uh, water cans. So we buy water cans and on an average a 20 litre water can can cost you around 25 to 30 pesos depending on the area that you live in and the brand that you purchase. Next is phone recharge. So you can get a decent monthly plan from any of the operators for around 200 to 300 pesos and uh, that's it. Those are all the things that we mostly spend our money on every month. In conclusion, I would like to say that there are some things that are cheaper over here and some things that are expensive than compared to India. But uh, uh, services, whatever things that require services are definitely more expensive over here. For example, if you want to call an electrician or a plumber over to your house to fix something, then that would be definitely quite expensive over here. With that, I wrap up today's video. I hope this gives you a fair idea of what the cost of living of this place is like. And if you enjoyed watching this video, please hit the like button. And if you have any further questions, let me know in the comments below. I would be happy to answer those. And do share this video with anybody who you think is relevant to. And I will see you soon with a new one. Bye.